Live quietly in the moment, and see the beauty of all before you. The future will take care of itself. Be as simple as you can be. You will be astonished to see how uncomplicated and happy your life can become. You may control a mad elephant. You may shut the mouth of the bear and the tiger. Ride the lion and play with the cobra. By alchemy, you may learn your livelihood. You may wander through the universe incognito. Make vassals of the gods. Be ever youthful. You may walk in water and live in fire. But control of the mind is better and more difficult. Read a little. Meditate more. Think of God all the time. You must not let your life run in the ordinary way. Do something that nobody else has done, something that will dazzle the world. Show that God's creative principle works in you. Making others happy, through kindness of speech and sincerity of right advice, is a sign of true greatness. To hurt another soul by sarcastic words, looks, or suggestions, is despicable. Live each moment completely, and the future will take care of itself. Fully enjoy the wonder and beauty of each moment. You have come to earth to entertain, and to be entertained. There is a magnet in your heart, that will attract true friends. That magnet is unselfishness, thinking of others first. When you learn to live for others, they will live for you. The power of unfulfilled desires, is the root of all man's slavery. If you permit your thoughts to dwell on evil, you yourself, will become ugly. Look only for the good in everything, so you absorb the quality of beauty. Kindness is the light, that dissolves all walls between souls, families, and nations. Forget the past, for it is gone from your domain. Forget the future, for it is beyond your reach. Control the present. Live supremely well now. This is the way of the wise. Persistence guarantees that results are inevitable. You do not have to struggle to reach God, but you do have to struggle to tear away the self-created veil that hides him from you. Remain calm, serene, always in command of yourself. You will then find out how easy it is to get along. Stillness is the altar of spirit. The season of failure is the best time for sowing the seeds of success. Be afraid of nothing. Hating none, giving love to all, feeling the love of God, seeing His presence in everyone, and having but one desire. For His constant presence in the temple of your consciousness. That is the way to live in this world. Since you alone are responsible for your thoughts, only you can change them. 
The secret of health for both mind and body is not to mourn for the past, worry about the future, or anticipate troubles, but to live in the present moment wisely and earnestly. Having lots of money, while not having inner peace is like dying of thirst, while bathing in the ocean. Self-realization is the knowing in all parts of body, mind, and soul, that you are now in possession of the kingdom of God. That you do not have to pray, that it come to you. That God's omnipresence is your omnipresence. And that all that you need to do, is improve your knowing. Every tomorrow is determined by every today. The wave is the same as the ocean, though it is not the whole ocean. So each wave of creation is a part of the eternal ocean of spirit. The ocean can exist without the waves, but the waves cannot exist without the ocean. Before embarking on important undertakings, sit quietly. Calm your senses and thoughts, and meditate deeply. You will then be guided by the great creative power of spirit. The true basis of religion is not belief, but intuitive experience. Intuition is the soul's power of knowing God. To know what religion is really all about, one must know God. So long as we believe in our heart of hearts, that our capacity is limited, and we grow anxious and unhappy, we are lacking in faith. One who truly trusts in God has no right to be anxious about anything. Roam in the world as a lion of self-control. See that the frogs of weakness don't kick you around. moral. Look fear in the face, and it will cease to trouble you. To everything there is a season, and a time to every purpose under the heaven. If you don't invite God to be your summer guest, he won't come in the winter of your life. Why be elated by material profit? Father replied. The one who pursues a goal of even-mindedness is neither jubilant with gain nor depressed by loss. He knows that man arrives penniless in this world and departs without a single rupee. You go often into the silence, but have you developed an abhava? He was reminding me to love God more than meditation. Do not mistake the technique for the goal. The human mind is a spark of the almighty consciousness of God. I could show you that, whatever your powerful mind believes very intensely would instantly come to pass. He fitted the Vedic definition of a man of God. Softer than the flower, where kindness is concerned. Stronger than the thunder, where principles are at stake. The power of unfulfilled desires, is the root of all man's slavery. Ordinary love is selfish, darkly rooted in desires and satisfactions. Divine love is without condition, without boundary, without change. The flux of the human heart is gone forever, at the transfixing touch of pure love. A man will be beloved if, possessed with great power, he still does not make himself feared. The goal of yoga science is to calm the mind, 
that without distortion it may hear the infallible counsel of the inner voice. The poet is intimate with truth, while the scientist approaches awkwardly. I am the cosmic ocean of sound, and the little wave of the body vibration in it. The more deeply we perceive, the more striking becomes the evidence, that a uniform plan links every form in manifold nature. Good manners without sincerity, are like a beautiful dead lady, he remarked on suitable occasion. Straightforwardness without civility, is like a surgeon's knife, effective but unpleasant. Candor with courtesy, is helpful and admirable. Practice loving those who do not love you. Feel for those who do not feel for you. Be generous to those who are generous only to themselves. If you heap hatred on your enemy, neither he, nor you, are able to perceive the inherent beauty of your soul. The soul must stretch over the cosmogonic abysses, while the body performs its daily duties. Devote your entire willpower, to mastering one thing at a time, do not scatter your energies, nor leave something half done to begin a new venture. After deep prayer and meditation, the devotee is in touch with his divine consciousness. There is no greater power than that inward protection. Always tell a woman, that she is not like others, if you want to get from her, what you get from others. If a woman doesn't want sex, tell her she is not like other women. If you want to be sad, no one in the world can make you happy. But if you make up your mind to be happy, no one and nothing on earth can take that happiness from you. Change yourself and you have done your part in changing the world. Let my soul smile through my heart, and my heart smile through my eyes, that I may scatter rich smiles in sad hearts. It is spiritual poverty, not material lack, that lies at the core of all human suffering. Be kind to others, so that you may learn the secret art of being kind to yourself. I am a spark from the infinite. I am not flesh and bones. I am light. Your trials did not come to punish you, but to awaken you. To make you realize, that you are a part of spirit, and that just behind the sparks of your life, is the flame of infinity. Most of the world, is like a mental hospital. Some persons are sick with jealousy, others with anger, hatred, passion. They are victims of their habits and emotions. But you can make your home a place of peace. Do not take life's experiences too seriously. For in reality, they are nothing but dream experiences. Play your part in life, but never forget that it is only a role. Be honest with yourself. The world is not honest with you. The world loves hypocrisy. When you are honest with yourself, you find the road to inner peace. Never count your faults. 
just see that your love for God is deeply sincere. For God doesn't mind your imperfections. He minds your indifference.